All right, here we go, back at it. Rainbow trout fishing in the ATL. I'll let you hear me. Starting off with the power eggs. That's what we're working with. Cast it out, let the current bump it down the stream. See what we get. Wanted to check my bait to see if it was floating, and it is. So here we go. Let's see if we can get one on the first cast. I was lazy today, didn't put my waders on because it's about 93 degrees out here. Luckily, I'm in the shade, so I'm not really dealing with it. Probably dealing with more like, I don't know, 85. Improve my footing here. I want to take a roll if I get a fish. Got these round sticks at my feet that the rising water kind of place right here. I think I'm gonna have to go with my rooster tails here in a minute if I don't get some action. Because they are MIA, missing in action. Okay, there was a bite. to entice him to come on home. The bike. Pretty aggressive bike going right here. Let's see if we can get this one. Come on. Got him. Give you a 
shot of them here above the net. Took me a minute, but we found one. Pretty nice fish. All right. I picked up something today to help me get them off that I probably should have had in my repertoire already. And these are basically just some uh, forcep hook removers. So they are notorious hook swallowers. So I'm thinking this will help me out. Worked like a charm. Try to do it again. Got my forceps. All right, I'm gonna put fresh bait on here because I want to make this hard to resist. about the area where I got the last one, so let's see if lightning can strike twice in the same spot. Definitely could not ask for better weather. This is perfection. Shout out to my Wilmington and my North Carolina family. I'll be good. There's another one. Look at there, look at there. That's a good fish. Ooh. He got away from my net, so I just had to lift him up. That is a fatty. Look at that fish. That is a nice one. He hit it like he meant business. Very fortunate to have that fish up here on the bank because uh, I had to lift him, and I hate doing that. Sometimes you gotta wait them out. So being patient, that's the key today because uh, I could have got antsy and rolled out, but I would have missed two nice fish. So two in the bucket, six to go. Again, you can keep up to eight here in Atlanta. All right, so my cocktail is working. I'm going with the power egg and I'm also putting a salmon egg on the tip of that. So. This dynamic duo is working right now, so we're gonna stay with it. Because a wise man or woman once told me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So right now, this little combination, it ain't broke, so we staying with it.
and that fish fought so good. He just kind of ran me over in the weeds and I have my net kind of straight down below me and I just could not get him back to the net. So I had to take my chances and lift because I knew that fish was a little bit thicker. And uh, that's gonna make a that's gonna make a nice little fish dinner right there. So uh, winner winner fish dinner, I guess. Because in grassy spots like this, anytime walking through the weeds, you always have to kind of be on the lookout for critters, you know, snakes, you know, that kind of thing. So at least having some almost knee high boots, almost knee high. They're not quite knee high. Uh, definitely comes in handy so these are the same boots that I rocked in Wilmington so they did make the move with me here to the ATL again the technique that I'm using here is just casting it out with a medium lightweight and just letting the current kind of help me out as I just kind of pick it up every so often just kind of bump it so that it just kind of moves down the stream and my bait should be kind of floating out there kind of doing a little hypnotic dance for the fish. So, worked for two. And if you're looking at these guns and asking and wondering if I have a license for them, I do. They're certified. Just a little humor for you. I think I feel number three knocking on my door right here. The thing is, when you're fishing for rainbow trout, you gotta be patient because, um, like I said, they are notorious hook swallowers, but you gotta be patient and let them take it. You know, they'll bump it and they'll bump it and then eventually they'll like really kind of go after it. Um, not like sheep's head fishing where you kind of just gotta make your move and set the hook. Rainbow trout give you a little bit more help than that. Ah, I was too anxious. All right, we're going orange and chartreuse on the uh, rooster tail here. All right, here we go. Water's shallow, so I got to keep it up in order to not let it drop too low. I let it drop too low, I'm giving it away.
There's one. <laughs> I got excited. I was about to, I was just about to say that bite when you get on a uh, rooster tail is is so much nicer than the bite that you get when you're just um, fishing off the bottom, kind of bumping it down the stream. And lo and behold, I got that strike, got excited, wanted to talk to you guys, and I lost it. But just to let you see what color I'm throwing there, that's what we're doing. All right, ladies and gents, we're running low on battery, so I'm gonna take this moment to say thanks for stopping by. As always, be kind to the fish. Okay, so I'm breaking back in with number three. Not the biggest of the three, but uh, definitely I can say my plate's gonna look a lot better with three fish instead of two. What do you say about that? All right, keep watching. 